everyone just uh, had a quick buy request video here that I wanted to do I wanted to show these frames side by side uh, so the stock frame um, from the 365 SAS uh, and this is the Wilson combat frame I took the uh, slide off so you can kind of get a better idea so um, the length is about the same of course we have a little dovetail here on the back of the um, uh, or whatever they call it on the back of the grip moving into this uh, rear profile here you can see that the um, that the Wilson combat grip is significantly not significantly but you know it's a little bit beefier on the back um, it's got some deeper stippling um, and also uh, that same stippling pattern on the front so um, you can see there where you can get a little bit better grip here with your backhand and also if you're, you know, for, for guys like me that got a little bit bigger hands, um, this is perfect, you know. So if I take that and I compare it maybe with the, the SIG P938 um, with a Hogue grip, uh, it's about, you know, similar to that. There you have it, side by side. Um, what I like is that about the, the Wilson Combat Grip is that unlike the P365 is that the stippling um, for your thumb goes all the way up uh, the grip on both sides. Um, another difference is that this is obviously not made with the SAS fire control unit or the SAS, sorry, uh, slide lock in mind or slide release in mind. Um, so. For me, I'll probably have to shave that off so I can get to my slide release, or I'll just order uh, another slide release and put it in the, the FCU for this. Um, so there you have it. Those are the two the two frames side by side. Oh, and one more thing I'll point out is the tungsten weights. Again, uh, you can see mine kind of have some uh, grease. Wilson Combat recommends that you either use um, some silicone glue which uh, that's fine, that's your prerogative if you want to glue your weights in there. I did not want to. Um, they say you can also use heavy grease, so I use some Mobile One synthetic ball bearing grease, and I just put a little bit on the tips of each of the rods before I slid them down. And that actually filled in nicely, and um, the rods don't move at all. That shaking you hear is not the, not the rods, that's something else. Um, but you can see they're, they're not moving and this has gone through about, I don't know, a hundred rounds, uh, and they're solid. They're, they're in there and I can take them out easily. So, um, that's what I like. So there you go. You can make your own judgment call whether or not you want to stick with the, um, with the factory frame. Uh, it's, it's still a good frame. Obviously SIG makes excellent products. However, I think that for my purposes for shooting, um, I, I, I want to do a lot more shooting, uh, with this gun, I'm not just carrying it around as a um, as an EDC, but it's you know it's a gun that I enjoy shooting a lot. So this frame is perfect for me. Uh, it gives me a much better grip. Uh, the weight on the back also gives me just much better control with the firearm in general. And with the factory um, grip, I just don't have that. Uh, it's just too top heavy. The weight distribution of the firearm is is really off with the factory grip. So there you have it. Those are the two grips side by side. There's much better stippling on the Wilson Combat. You get a longer dovetail um, to kind of cover the back of your hand, kind of reduce kind of, you know, losing control there, especially when you're shooting fast. Um, so overall, it's just a really good grip.